Hey guys, my name is Ross. Today I'm going to teach you twin size mattress by the front bottoms. Here we go. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the intro. You're going to have your open E string, and I like to use my ring finger, but you can really use whatever finger you want on the D string 9th fret. And you're going to alternate, the pattern is going to be alternating the E and the D string. So. And after that, you're going to go into the verse. So uh, the verse starts with the exact same thing. And uh, so that's the same part. And then after that, I like to switch the D string. We're going to pretty much hold that note out through the whole verse. So I switch that note on the ninth fret to my pinky. And I bring my index finger up onto the sixth fret of the A string. So then you have... And uh, so that all that together is... And then you're going to slide your index finger up one fret, still keeping this pinky on the ninth fret, to the seventh fret A string. So now you have. So all what we have so far slow is. Okay, so after that, you're going to just. Still keeping this nine, ninth fret D string held, you're gonna take off your index finger and just play the open A string. So, so that's pretty much the whole verse after like the main part of the verse. So here it is all together slow. gonna slide down and your index finger is gonna be on the fourth fret of the A string and your pinky again or you can do your ring finger uh, but I like to do my pinky on the sixth fret of the D string so now you're gonna do and then you're gonna lift off your index finger of the A string so just open A and you're just gonna alternate with that so So all of what we have so far is So after that part you're going to do the intro pretty much all over again so and then you go into the second verse which is the exact same thing so now you have the verse and that pretty much all done so there's one little last part that gets a little weird at the end of the verse so you do the whole thing do that and then you go to this part. And then when he says, with tears in my eyes, you hold it out instead of doing that. You're just gonna hit both like a power chord. Uh, and then you're gonna start it up again. So it kind of goes like. So uh, 
that's all the verse. So now we're going to go into the pre-chorus slash chorus. Okay, guys. So now we're going to do the chorus. Uh, so it starts open E string, uh, second fret A string, and second fret D string. I You can do it like this, but I like to just bar it with my index finger. So the rhythm is going to be... Uh, I'll do it again one more time, slow. And I like to do all down strokes, so kind of... And you also kind of want to palm mute it. So after that, you're going to slide up to another power chord up on the 4th fret. Uh, index finger on the 4th fret, ring finger on the 6th fret A string, and then your pinky on the 6th fret D string. And same rhythm. Uh, and then you're going to slide that up one whole fret. So here, so your index fingers on the 5th fret E string, and then these two fingers are on the 7th fret. And you're going to do the exact same pattern. And then you're going to slide it down where your index finger is on the 2nd fret E string and your ring finger and pinky are both on the 4th fret uh, A and D string. And then you have the exact same pattern. So all of it together really slow is... After that, you're gonna do the exact same thing for the, like the first three quarters of it. The uh, and then you're just gonna hold that note out. So just and that's the whole chorus. Okay, so the chorus after the. I'm going to call it the pre-chorus, which is the part where you're going. After that part, you're going to go to the main part of the chorus, which is just kind of guitar, drums, bass, and then a little riff, which I'll teach you in a second. So the rhythm guitar is going like this. So to play that, you're going to do the same chord that you started the chorus with. So E, and then 2nd fret uh, with your ring and uh, pinky, or just bar it like I do on the A and D. And then you're going to do that double the amount of time you do it for this part. So you're going to do... So this part is now your index fingers on the A string, then your ring finger, sixth string. Oh yeah, the index fingers on the fourth fret. So uh, your ring fingers on the sixth fret, D string, and your pinky is on the sixth fret, G string. So you're doing the same rhythm, and then after that you're gonna go up to an A power chord. So your index finger is on the 5th fret uh, E string, and then ring finger and pinky A and D are on the 7th fret. So the whole thing is... And over that, there's a little cool lead part, which I'll teach you right now. It goes like this. So to play that, you're going to do uh, 9th fret G, uh, 7th fret B, 9th fret B, 7th fret E. So, so far we have... Then you're going to go 9th fret E, 11th fret E, back to 9th fret E, and then you're going to go 
is 11th fret E, 9th fret E, 7th fret E. So all of it is. And then you're going to do half of the same thing. So. And then you just, instead of going to the 9th fret E, you're going to jump to the 11th fret E. And then go back down to the 9th fret E. And slide from 9th fret E to 11th fret E. And from there, you're going to jump to the 16th fret. So the whole thing slow is... Uh, yep, so that's the chorus and a little riff on top. Okay, so after the chorus, pre-chorus, and of course the verse, you're gonna do, you're gonna go back. So verse two is gonna be the exact same thing of uh, exact thing and then after that you're gonna do the that whole thing and then after that you're gonna go to the bridge which in, in fact is the exact same thing uh, Pretty sure you go back to that little riff I told you about that. Do that whole thing once alone, and then you go back to the chorus, and they're just kind of going all out in the drums and just kind of jamming, doing the. Uh, kind of doing that for a little bit and the guitar player I'm pretty sure is still doing that that whole thing and then we're almost done the outro is you go back to the Basically, it's the exact same thing as the verse, except uh, instead of going the, you're just gonna land out of the seventh fret uh, A string and ninth fret D string. You're just gonna fall onto that with open A and pinky on ninth fret D string. So it's basically just. And that there is pretty much all of Twin Size Mattress by the Front Bottoms. Okay, thanks guys for watching uh, my tutorial on Twin Size Mattress by the Front Bottoms. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos like this, covers, or originals. Thanks for watching.